Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Um, coming to you guys, um, kind of give you guys an update on what's been going on with my me trying to find my brother. Um, so I had been working with this lady that um, said, you know, she was able to help me. So, um, I get an email today and she tells me, you know, there was nothing more that she can do to help me. So, I was basically coming again today to kind of tell my story again to see if there is somebody out there if you guys share it if there's somebody out there that can help me because it seems like the state is just giving me the runaround like they keep sending me to all these dead end spots and you know, people are like, well, they knew that there was nothing we can do. So, I'm not going to give up. I've never been a quitter. So, here we go. I'm going to try again. So, I met my brother for the first time. Started out with this. I met my dad for the first time when I was 10 or 11 years old. And um, he come back in our life and my mother married him. Um, she tried to, you know, build a family and do things the right way. And um, then after they had been married for a length of time, my dad tells my mom that he has a son without giving any detail which is okay you know that's all right so my mother uh, because his mother was living from hotel to hotel and didn't have anything permanent set up for Mikey um, he so my mom and my dad, we go and pick him up. She realizes that he has, you know, uh, uh, he has a handicap disorder. And they're not sure what it is. He had never been in school. Um, you know, I take it back, y'all. I was older than... 12 when we went and got him because he was 9 or 10 that's here nor there so um we get him here my mother gets him in school and I'll be back alright I'm gonna try this again so my, I think I was at my mother got him in school uh, found out that he had autism. Mind you guys, he didn't talk. Um, he couldn't use the restroom by himself. Well, he was in diapers. Um, and he had never had any help. Had never been in a school system. Never had anything, you know, to be able to help or to make the situation a little better. So he was very severely autistic so my mother gets everything gets him in school gets everything together for him trying to work with him um, to learn sign language and all the while in between these times my dad was an alcoholic and he was in and out of the penitentiary because he cannot stop drinking and driving 
so um my mom and my dad's relationship was kind of rocky throughout the time and um he went to prison again and uh, he was gone for a few years this time mind you my mother still had my brother um she did not send him back um one time he was sent back to michigan and that was because his mother wanted him back at the time because uh, you know I'm not here to bash her or whatever so I'm, I'm not even going to discuss it but he was sent back one other time and wasn't enrolled in school didn't go to school so my mother he did come back so my dad um, went to prison one other another uh, again he went to prison and this particular time he got out. He was gone for a few years. He got out. And he, um, sorry, y'all. <laughs> he got out, and my mother no longer wanted to be with him. So my uh, mom, you know, my dad got himself together. And this time my mother was really sick. She had two amputated legs. And, um, you know, she was fighting to keep herself healthy. And at that time, I was still a teenager. You know, I was young. So, um, my, let's see. Oh, my dad got out of prison. And my, um, he, you know, took my brother back. And the very same day that he got out, well, Long story short, he got pulled over and Mikey was in the car. He was drunk. And they took him. And that was the last time that I've seen him. Um, so, trying to find my brother. I've had an extremely hard time. You guys know I've been, when I posted my first video about him, I've, you know, been looking I've been searching so I'm coming to you guys again to ask if maybe somebody out there knows the right direction that I need to go the right people I need to talk to or maybe it can be shared and somebody will know you know maybe know where he's at or know a facility that he's at or maybe even you know, just a clip, uh, a simple click of a share, hit the share button would be, I'm forever grateful for that. But I just need help. Um, been at a dead end, you know, um, to be honest, I don't have any help from my dad doing this. Um, I don't have to know a lot of information about him. I know his birth date, but I don't know his birth year. My dad doesn't know his birth year. Um, I don't know. But, and that's basically all I know. I don't know a social security number. My dad don't know a social security number. Um, but I'm doing what I can to try to find him. Um, so, if anybody knows anything or knows who I can, like I said, who I can talk to, contact me. Um, his name is Alan Michael Jones, nicknamed Mikey. Um, he should be around, I want to say, he's in his middle 20s, maybe. Middle age 20, somewhere in there. Um, don't know what else to do. Um, I, the, the children's cabin just kind of gives me a run, gives me the run around. So, if somebody knows anything, um, just contact me. All my contact information will be in the description box below. And you guys know I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I will keep you guys updated on whatever becomes or what I find out. Um, if 
you have any questions about it, um, then, you know, hit the description box as well, or you can contact me. Um, but I'm not going to hold you guys up much longer. I try not to make the video so long so that it can be posted on other social media sites and it's not long. I know when the video is really long, um, people tend to not watch the whole video. So I tried to make it shorter. But I'm rambling on now. Um, so I love you guys. Thank you for your support. I appreciate any help I can get. Like I said, even if it's just a share, I appreciate it. So thank you guys. Um, I hope you guys had a great turkey day. I hope you have a good day. Rest of the week. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.